what's up guys this is ML Tech uh, this video is to show you guys how to use the dongle the USB dongle with the Octoplus FRP tool uh, this is uh, specifically for the Samsung SMT 560 NU model I couldn't find anything online looked on YouTube looked all over the place um, took me a while to figure it out apparently I needed a combination file I'll, I'll talk to you guys about that later on in the video I'll show you what I mean, um, but let me show you guys exactly what the dongle looks like. This is the dongle that I ordered on Amazon. Uh, it's worked pretty good for 65 bucks. Um, it uh, unlocks the Google Factory Reset, the FRP. Uh, it shows you what kind of models, and uh, it should show you, um, you know, if you search it up, look it up, uh, you know, you'll get a little bit of information on it. Uh, but that's the that's the dongle that I have uh, that I've ordered. Um, that's the one I'm using with the Octoplus software. I'll show you guys what that is. This is the Octoplus software. I'll actually put the link in the description for you guys also where to download this stuff at. Um, so this is the Octoplus FRP tool installer version 1.8.0. This is the one that you that you're gonna need to install. Uh, just hit download, go and install that. Uh, also Odin we're gonna download Odin that's to flash the firmware and that's what we're gonna use to uh, flash the uh, combination file on the tablet and also the official firmware so then we can start using it um, with no FRP on it alright guys let's get started um, first of all we're gonna need um, the Odin software I have it right here on the desktop so if we open it up it's actually gonna show like this it's actually gonna you know open up like this it's gonna uh, it actually has a the page how to use um, notes and the official website here so you guys can you know check that out um, so this is the actual programmer here with the exe so let's go ahead and open that um, so this is actually what it's gonna look like when you guys first open it up it's gonna be plain it's not gonna show anything this is what you know this is what what you're gonna look at uh, importantly don't uh, check any of these boxes leave all this as a default don't mess with the settings it could uh, mess up the installation uh, the flashing uh, so yeah just go ahead and you know don't mess around with that so what we're gonna do is actually connect the tablet and um, let me go ahead and connect it right now to the computer using the USB cable so as you can see uh, it's showing up right here as added um, so then uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hit the AP this this uh, this one right here um, and then we're gonna load the combination file um, I already have it opened up here to the combination uh, so I have the official firmware I also have this the 6.0 Android uh, that I could also use um, that's just for testing purposes, uh, but this is one. This is the one I'm going to use later. For right now, we're going to use a combination file, which is this one, and uh, this is the um, combination file that I'm using right here. So you just go ahead and uh, select it, open it up. So as you can see, it's going to enter the CS for the MD5. It's going to do all the. It's going to check it. It's going to load it to the Odin software, to the program. Just uh, you know, let it run. It's going to take a couple seconds. Um, let that go after it's done um, what you're what you're gonna uh, see is the file getting loaded right here you're gonna see it load up right here so that's gonna you know let you know that it's loaded up and ready to go once it's loaded up all you guys have to do is just hit start so there we go checking MD5 finished successfully there we go that's what we want to see so there you go you're gonna see the combination file right here um, and actually um, most importantly make sure that when you connect your t your tablet before you do this make sure that it's in download mode now if you guys know what download mode is um, if you guys don't know um, uh, you go ahead and when the tablet is on on normally uh, you go ahead and turn it off shut it down completely um, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down the, the volume button press the home key and the power button all at the same time in that order it's going to um, restart it in in, um, in the download mode is what it's called the Odin mode um, just go ahead and hit the up arrow up up volume button uh, it's going to tell you you're going to you're going to see on the tablet then it's going to go into the Odin mode and it's going to say you know like like it's gonna, like it's in the you know process of downloading 
so just you know once it's on there you know you're good to go it's like a light blue screen go ahead and connect the tablet uh, and then uh, load this it's gonna show this AP uh, file like this um, so then you just hit start and it's just gonna it's gonna run it and um, you guys should be okay uh, I'll show you guys um, what happens next it should file right here so as like like I said very important make sure your tablet is in download mode and it's connected so now all you got to do is just hit the start and let it do its its uh, flash and it's gonna load up the combination file and uh, I'll show you guys what to do next All right, guys. So it's all set. We have the combination file uh, written on the tablet. It's finished. Uh, it should say all threads completed. It should say pass uh, the time it took to to do the process. Um, so we're all done with this uh, with using the Odin uh, software. So we could go ahead and uh, minimize that. Um, so now the the most important part. Next step is um, well, actually, you're gonna see your tablet. And it's gonna restart with the combination file firmware and it's gonna look a little weird uh, it's gonna look kinda of plain that's fine that's what we wanna get just make sure that it that it turns on uh, some functions are not gonna work obviously um, so if the screen looks weird uh, that's okay um, you should see you know kinda of basic a basic screen um, kinda of plain um, uh, so next step is we go to the Octoplus FRP tool right here but make sure you got your uh, dongle plugged in first or else you're gonna get an error um, so go ahead and open that up and let it load uh, takes a couple seconds for this to load alright guys so as you can see um, this is the software right here this is what you want to get and I already have the Samsung uh, uh, selected the model number the uh, SMT560 um, so I already have the tablet connected so if you go to read info it should give you uh, the actual model number and information about it um, so it's gonna actually say um, see this is the reason why I did the video is because uh, I, when I first tried it it says it says warning selected model SMT560 differs from the select detected one SMT560NU uh, I don't know why it does that that's uh, it's weird because on the their site it actually says it's supposed to be for this one um, it's the exact same one uh, so that's uh, you know uh, it just happens uh, but anyways we have the tablet uh, connected right now so as you can see it's, it's detecting it it's detecting the model and knows it knows the tablet is connected um, so now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna do the reset FRP ADB combination because we have the combination file so go ahead and just hit that it's gonna say ADB must be enabled you can try enable ADB okay you go ahead and just skip that let this uh, let this run um, as you can see it's doing the unlocking right now so you go uh, it's gonna show this go to terms and conditions uh, and you might get it on the tablet you might get something popping up uh, I I haven't I know uh, some people have said that they've seen you know the the terms and conditions pop up but uh, it hasn't it hasn't happened for me so just go ahead and hit yes So just let it let it unlock. It's gonna go ahead and do the unlock right now. Okay, so this this is this is good. So when you get to the third step, uh, just say yes. Just follow just follow along. And as you can see, FRP lock is successfully re reset. Now uh, and then you know you could go to menu settings, backup and reset, and make the factory data reset. Um, if you guys are gonna sell it or you know. Um, you know whatever keep it uh, but this is the process this is what it should look like right here guys um, and you're all set um, now after this uh, after this you know uh, 
go ahead and close this close this out uh go into your tablet make sure you do the factory reset uh, and then uh restart it um then the last step is uh go back into odin reconnect reconnect uh you could reset this right here reconnect your tablet um now that it's the frp unlock and now you're gonna have to uh reconnect it again like i showed you guys and hit the ap and then you're gonna have to uh go select the um show you guys uh this is the firmware that i have this is the official firmware for the t560 nu uh, this is the I also got the 6.0, but you're gonna need the official you can I mean you guys could use a 6.0 uh, um, Android's uh, uh, firmware uh, software or I'm using this one uh, just because it's the newest one uh, or I mean not the newest one but 7.1 version uh, I'm gonna use that one and this is gonna write over the combination uh, firmware that we have right now on the tablet so it's gonna just bring it up to the you know it's gonna bring it up to the official firmware and when you have that you're gonna finally be able to use it, your tablet you're gonna be able to set it up um, it's gonna be unlocked uh, it's not gonna have the Google account anymore so you're gonna be able to use it and you guys are all set uh, thanks for watching guys uh, you know let me know what you guys think in the comment section all right see you guys